Hello truckers and welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. We are in Elko, Nevada, watching the sunrise, aren't we Cindy? Yes we are, watching the sunrise. Today we're hoping to get all, we're, we're going to get into California, will we get to San Jose is the question. Uh, but before we go, because I was just checking on it, you remember our tanker that we put into the Denver garage? Well, if I go to company, I go to trailer manager, and we look at the gas tank trailer, our cistern tanker, um, Paul F., uh, a.k.a. actually a squirrel, has taken the tanker, uh, and they're hauling ammonia. So, is it working? Will we start actually earning money from that tanker? That is the question. Uh, we shall see. I mean, it says he's on the road, he's on duty, he's driving. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but with that being said, we need to get on the road as well. We are at a Kenny dealership. Is it a Kenny or, or is it... I can't remember if it's a Kenny or a Peterbilt. It is a Kenworth dealership. Uh, what did I do to this truck? I think, oh, I think I repaired it because... Yeah, was that last episode I repaired it? Either way, we're at a Kenworth dealership. And we need to get on the road here because I want to get to our destination by the end of the day. I don't really need to get there until the, the following day. It should be Saturday in-game. Yes, it is. It's a Saturday in-game, but does not need to be there until Sunday at noon, I believe. And did I get too far out? Are you gonna are you gonna stop? No, I'm not that far out. So right now it says I'll get there by six o'clock. Well, this is not an external contract. I'm gonna scooch out in front of that car. Not an external contract, so we don't really have to go aka the speed limit. <laughs> we can step on the throttle a little bit. So we'll see if we can get there. Yeah, I think it's Sunday at noon. Uh, Sunday at 11.50. So we got some time. Uh, I mean, if I, if I quit today at 5, that we should have roughly about an hour to drive the following day. So it should not be a problem getting there. It is San Jose, right? Yes, it is San Jose. And being in Nevada on I-80, the speed limit is also 80, I do believe. So our money has risen up to 116. I'm glad it's rising, not falling, but <laughs> yeah, we're, we're slowly building up the money to get ourselves a Western Star, because that is about the only brand truck I really haven't driven for a while. And when, I want to say three episodes ago, probably, we did a quick look at what one would cost for my style of truck, and it was about 200, so... Uh, but we're getting there. And with Paul F. now taking our sister and tank, and actually going to make us some money with that, probably. Uh, there's a good chance that we'll get there sooner rather than later. It says speed limit is 65. But I think once I leave Elko, I think the speed limit will jump up to 80. Although it's been a while since we've been through Nevada and on into California. There we go. 80. Let's jump up to speed. Because getting there today would be spectacular. Getting there and having like a half hour to go or an hour to go kind of sucks a little bit. As a driver just brought in a whole bunch of cash, which is lovely seeing that always. All right, we'll cruise at 80. We should be fine. Uh, Fuel-wise, I could probably drive the entire day and not run out of fuel. I think we're pretty much at that stage. Actually, it's 614 miles. Yeah, on a very good day, we can do 700 miles. As I ride on the rumble strips on the side of the road. Shouldn't be doing that. What am I... I think I'm hauling cars, right? Yes, 24,000 pounds of cars. Speaking of cars, I got one just on the outside of me. As I slow down, they slow down. They may have been trying to let me in. But we'll let them go. And we'll get around these trucks. My load isn't that heavy. This I-80 is not the way I remember it. From the early days of ATS. This was more wide open. I don't remember the guardrails on the side of the road. Or the fence line. Whoa, 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 why, why are you, why are you slowing down?
We are running... Oh. We are running a traffic mod. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Was there, was there an accident and the accident is clearing up? Does someone have a fender bender? Well, at least no one ran into the back of us. And I had to pay the fine. So I'm all happy on that part of it. Let's get back up to speed. I'm trying to I'm trying <laughs> trying to gain time, not lose time here. Yeah, so I yeah, I don't really don't remember the last time we were in California. Maybe a hundred episodes ago, probably even longer than that. Made in Montana. Potatoes, probably. Right, I want to scooch over to that lane if I can, which... No problem. Every time I go through a tunnel, I have uh, PTSD from my early days of Euro Truck Simulator 2. I was riding in the far left lane with an excavator I was hauling. And let's just say the tunnel does not favor tall cargo on the left side. And man, did I damage the heck out of the cargo. So much so that when I got done with the delivery, I lost like five, five grand or something like that. I think that was maybe like my fifth or sixth delivery in my trucking career. Learned rather quick that, yeah, you just don't go everywhere and all the roads are are made for you. And I've been asked many times, and the question does come up at least once every two or three weeks on an episode, could I do something like this for Euro Truck? And, you know, I, I would like to say maybe at some point, but I want to be honest about it and probably say I will never get to Euro Truck again. Just that because with the states coming out as fast as they are here in ATS and this series doing what it's doing, I never expected ATS to take off that well on this channel. I've actually been asked to do more than one episode per week like we normally do. Unless the state comes out, then we do about three or four episodes a week. Yeah, I just uh, don't see where I'm going to have time to do ETS-2 along with this ATS and everything else. I'm trying to... all the other series that we got going currently. And of course, we do know an ATS. Nebraska just came out, well, a few weeks ago at this point. Uh, we know Missouri and Arkansas are on the horizon. And Iowa was just announced not long ago. So plenty to look forward to in the future for ATS. All right, how are we doing? All right, we got the ETA down to 530. It will be one of those things that by the end of the day, if it says we're gonna get there at 530, because usually five o'clock is our quitting time, as we all know. I'll probably just push on and get the delivery done. And then that way, we can start the next day nice and fresh. And then we'll figure out where to go after that. Uh, up and down the coast of California. North or south doesn't really matter, I suppose. Because we're going to be kind of dead center on the coast of California. When we left Nebraska, I was trying to find something going this general direction and didn't really have that many choices that look you know it didn't look like it was something that i was looking for i mean we had this one of course going to california but it brought us right to the center so yeah we're just going to go ahead and wait and see what the morning brings when we uh get to that point well, i'm remembering i-80 through Nevada being a lot more just 
more straight like, like we're looking at. We don't get that many curves or whatnot that we just kind of went through. They probably put that in there to kind of slow us down a little bit or pay attention. But I am very happy uh, today that the uh, that Paul has taken our cistern tanker. I have seen a comment or two saying they're having the same issue with the same tankers. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, it appears Paul... And if Paul keeps it the entire time, I don't care. As long as the trailer's getting used and we finally get, get our money's worth out of that trailer. I don't remember how long ago those tankers came into the game. I want to say that was around patch like 1.36, something like that, somewhere around there. And we may have spent like 150 to 160 grand on it, and I took it for like six, maybe six deliveries, something like that. So as long as it gets continuous use, because you make more money using your own trailers rather than going picking up a trailer. So why not use it myself, you may ask? Well, that because it kind of restricts you to the cargo that you can take. Although, like I said, I don't normally... We always drive first person. Very rarely do we go in third person and watch us drive through a town. So looking at the cargo or the trailer is not that big of a thing for this series. But I, I like having our options just to go where we like to. Sometimes it's like... It's, it's the destination more than the cargo sometimes. It's like, yeah, we need... Like, I want to go to California. Well... How about some cars, all right? Not the most, uh, just didn't seem thrilling at the time, but am I looking at the cars right now? No, we're not, so. But if I were to drive that tanker, it's gonna limit the uh, places that we can go, because not every place has refineries and all that kind of stuff for that cargo. So I hope that makes some sense. All right now I'm just gonna ride in this lane here because it seems like we're passing more vehicles than not. So instead of just keep it going right lane, left right lane, right lane, left lane, just stick it right in the left lane and, and go through. I do believe we're taking this all the way into California. Probably should also be looking, although, how many more miles? 400 miles? I think we can get there on the fuel that we got left. We should be able to. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, right in the middle of our minimal advisory, you can see the fuel tank. And when that turns red, I could probably go about another 250-ish miles. What lane is closed up ahead? Not my lane, but we should slow down though. I will sneak in front of this car. Uh, anyone else gonna, just a white car, I hope. All right, we're, we're okay. Neutral does not help. All right, I'll scooch over now because now I got to get my speed back up. And yeah, we've kind of avoided California for a while. Just as California is more of a cruising kind of a state. That's our loan payment, I hope. Yes, it is. So I think the max speed a trucker can do in California is 55. Nice little lake over there. But like I said, it's been a long time since we've been to California, so we're gonna treat California as this as if it's a new state and just kinda of like cruise around. And if, by any chance, that they announce Arkansas or Missouri comes out in a few days, well, 
you know that will take us a couple days to get back, so I'll have to do... That's where the extra episodes in a week come in. <laughs> I could just teleport over there. But, you know, we're, we're trying to drive from city to city. As we uh, pretty much did almost from episode one. There was a couple of times where we had to sidestep doing that. But for the most part, that's what we've been doing. Yeah, we're probably going to be discovering a lot of roads over here, just because we haven't been here. It doesn't mean I haven't driven in California. If I were to dig up my other profile and overlap it with this profile when I show the map, it'll probably show that California has been, you know, pretty much explored. Although, if they have moved the roads over a little bit, then it's going to look like they haven't been. But I played this game quite a bit when it came out back in 2016 in February. So I did know California pretty good. But now, probably not so much. All right, so the good news is we keep looking at our ETA in the bottom. We're almost going to be there at 5 o'clock. And I, and I will mention again, by the way, because a lot of people do ask on the older videos, but they're watching the newer ones, like this one. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, that's called the Minimal Advisory Mod, and that should be in the link in the description below. Most of my mods that I use, you can find the links below to them. Some of them might be outdated. Uh, I probably should take actually a couple of them, couple of them off at this point because I don't use them. Some engine packs I don't use. I try to avoid the engine packs now because a couple times uh, they have not been updated and when they don't get updated the game kind of diverts back to like a standard engine. So I may have like a 600 horse engine in the truck but then if the mod is not compatible the game will just stick like a 300 horsepower engine in the engine 300 horsepower engine in the truck and if I want to upgrade it to another 600 I gotta pay for it again so sound fixes I'm good with I think we just uh, crossed the state line I think it said hello California uh, because sound mods are things you don't have to buy it just changes the sound of the engine but we just want it sounding really good. We have changed the sounds of our engines before. As we can see, the speed limit is 55, so we must be in California. Well, I'm going to keep the throttle down just because we are going uphill. And I want to keep that momentum with us. Unless I come up on a cop, then I may want to slow down. Oh, way station ahead and I'm in the left lane? I'm moving over. Plus it's California, so they're going to probably pull me in anyways. They're going to see Utah license plates and say, yep, bring this guy in. And I haven't been to California in ages, so they want to say hello. Agricultural inspection. I'm hauling cars. Now, first time I've been to this way station. Release brakes while on scale. Alright, truck drivers, I'm kind of curious. Does that, how does that affect the weight?
kind of interested in that a little bit. I think this is the first time I've gone through this type of inspection. Are we all crisscrossing each other here? Uh, do I just go around? Guess I'll follow the other trucks. Because I don't see any trucks going through those. Any fruits or vegetables? Maybe in the cooler. Cindy, did you buy fruits or vegetables at the, the Kenworth dealership last night? She says no. I think she's lying, though. So I don't know how long these have been into the game. I know it's been a while because I completely forgot about it, but this will be my first time going through with it. The start of the agricultural inspection, stop and press. Inspection in progress. All right, they're happy. Traffic is pretty much clear. Well, the drivers are really doing well now. 8,220 for that delivery by Alicia L. And by the way, uh, from what I remember them saying a long time ago, the names of these drivers are, and the photographs you're seeing, are workers for SES. Boy, it's, it's going to kill me to put the cruise control at 55. But welcome to California. Yeah, I don't remember, remember three lanes coming into California like this. Wow, 55. This is what I'm saying. You get used to driving around the map itself. And here is 55 miles an hour. Yes, it does feel like we're crawling. But we're not, like I said, we're not in a great rush. I don't need to be getting there today, although it would be nice. And depending how close it is, we're either going to go through with it or, or not. So in a way, it's like uh, a rebirth for me in California. Gotta be careful about the speed limit, 55. Which pretty much means I can do 60 miles an hour, but then that's starting to push it a little bit for getting speeding tickets. That red car, I, I'm not sure if he even had the direction light on to merge in traffic with us, but... Definitely has a different look, but it's been so long. 
even the old stuff is going to look new to me anyways. And it's going to be hard to remember what everything looked like. I mean, in real life, it's probably been a year and a half since I've been in California in the ATS. One of those things where traffic is not moving quite as fast as I would like, but not slow enough where it's, I feel like I need to get out and, and pass them either. Let's set the cruise control for 54, I guess. And at the end of the day, I am going to check on Paul to make sure he's doing, that he's on the road, that he doesn't actually have the trailer and he's still at the garage. We should be able to find him on the map, and I haven't done that in a while. But we'll, we know he's from the Denver garage, and we got to see where he's delivering to. And then we can find him on the map by just uh, scanning from Denver over to wherever he's delivering to. And he should be on the road with it. And no, you cannot see your other trucks on the road. That is one thing I think that will just be... For me anyways, that would be just great to be able to see. Because if, if that was a thing where you could actually see your other drivers on the road... Now, I did this in ETS too, because at the time when I first started playing that game... I thought you'd be able to see your own trucks on the road. So I came up with my own paint scheme for my trucking company... I don't even remember what I even named it. So all the trucks had the same paint scheme with the company logo on it. And for a long time, I was as I was driving, every time I went by a truck, I'm like, is that is that one of mine? Is that one of mine? And I think I was probably watching Squirrel on his Sunday night trucking when he used to do it on Twitch. And I don't know if someone mentioned it, but he did say, no, you don't actually get to see your other trucks on the road. And I was like, oh, man, that, that kind of sucks. Now, I suppose if you want to do some modding of traffic, you could probably mod in some trucks with your company logo on it, but you're probably going to see it more often than not, and it's not going to be actually your trucks. We are, we are going to push the speed limit a little bit. We're going to do 58. Because our ETA is 20 minutes past 5. And the way it's going with our drivers... We may be saying goodbye to Moonlight Shadow sooner than I thought. It won't be today, unless something, something miraculously happens. Oh, wait, I, no. Uh, I, I saw the arrows turning right, but that meant, okay. Well, our ETA just changed. <laughs> and we're not even in Houston. Oh, wow, I'm doing a whole bunch of zigzagging back here. All right, get ready to get confused. All right, so we're going to be getting on this interstate to get off the interstate every time I turn right on red now I still want I, I still feel like it's 50 50 if I'll get a ticket or not so for those that are unfamiliar, at least here in the States, when you come up to a red light, oh, wait, when you, okay, when you do come up to a red light, 
As long as you come to a complete stop. Ooh, that's the wrong gear. Uh, when you come up to a red light. As long as you come up to a complete stop. And also have your direction light on. You can turn right on red. As long as there's no oncoming traffic. I mean, that didn't hurt me too much in time. I lost about a half an hour. Let me reset the cruise control to 58. Yeah, so Western Star is, I think, the only brand we really haven't driven, if I'm not mistaken. I know someone said uh, a few episodes ago, Freightliner, but no, we had a Freightliner. I believe it was the Freightliner that we were in when we did the Seattle to Palm Coast, Florida episode, which was like a three-hour, three-and-a-half-hour long episode of driving across the country. I think that was in the Freightliner. The Freightliner Cascadia. And yes, someone did say, I thought it was when you drive into town, that's the brand you'll drive, which was what we were doing in the beginning. As long as it wasn't uh, a brand that we have driven before. I have definitely not driven across this bridge. At least that from what I can remember. So, with all the brands, like I said, I think mostly we have driven. Western Star, we, did, we just got to pick that one. So, And that way we can check mark it. Then it's going to be pretty much, and I think we've done it on a couple of brands already where we can drive like I can go back into a Volvo which was our first truck but we just got to drive a different model but we haven't gotten to the Western Star yet so it's gonna, it's gonna be a moment also I think I originally said I just want you know maybe 20 drivers at the most which we've already gone past that and we'll probably just keep on building on that, honestly. I mean, you guys want to keep the series going and going and going. So, uh, instead of just having the money build up, we might as well expand the company as much as we can and really watch the money roll in. And then maybe I can start affording the paint jobs that we've earned that cost like twenty, thirty thousand. 30000 I afford those paint jobs. Just because, yeah, I can't afford those kind of paint jobs. Well, I can't afford them. It's just not feasible the way the company is making money what we're trying to do. Just not worth it. I can design my own paint job and charge myself a dollar to a thousand dollars. San Jose. I just started looking at the street sign. Like, maybe I should look at the street sign. Uh, I just realized I've been. it's four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, this day has gone by quicker. Time has gone by today for me. So, I think at this point, we're just going to go straight on through. San Jose is this way. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been through California. I don't remember this at all. The way the interchanges are. So, I mean, by the time I get Cindy to find a rest area... We're going to be right there anyway, so we're going to push through. And the day before, we actually quit a little bit early, so we're going to be driving a little bit later today. Kind of evens out. We try to do the best we can of driving the 11 hours before you're supposed to take a long break.
And since I really don't like driving too much at night, uh, at least for video purposes, because uh, you guys won't be able to see much, we've driven at night a few times. But you wouldn't be able to see like a lot of these buildings. Of course, driving through the cities and maybe a little bit more lit up and you can see the buildings at night. But I think you get what I'm saying. When we get to... Uh, in between cities, you're not going to be able to see much of the scenery. And yeah, we made it all the way here. The fuel tank is not even in the red yet. I really, don't, I really need to pay attention to the GPS. I'm just kind of like following traffic. And I shouldn't be. I should be paying attention to what we're doing here. But yeah, 55 in California is pretty much the max speed that we're going to get to. So, not going to really get a whole lot of miles done in a day, but that's okay. We're here to check out California. Uh, where am I delivering to in San Jose? CA Luminato. Hey, I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> Not worried about it. I think the closest I've ever run out of fuel... I think it was ETS-2. But the one thing I do know is when I got to the fuel area... If uh, you could have it on there, how many more miles you could make it. And it said I could go another 8 miles. So that's the closest I ever got to running out of fuel. I don't think I've ever run out of completely out of fuel. And I don't want to try doing that. So San Jose discovered. <laughs> so I have not discovered it on this profile. drivers are doing the right on red we're going left though so we gotta wait gotta wait for light to turn green on this one uh, another 17 miles is what we gotta go on so driving throughout here I am gonna be looking for a rest area that's also a fuel depot because fuel is something we will need before we start tomorrow That Jeep will get your attention. That's a bright lime green. As I mentioned before about seeing the reflections, you can actually see the reflections of signs and such on the hood, but as uh, Patrick <laughs> left a comment, ooh, got through there just in time, uh, he's the one that makes the mods for Realist Economy, the minimal advisory screen, the traffic mod we're running. Uh, you cannot see your own truck's reflection on the trucks, so like the trailers and such. Which, like I said, really haven't paid that much attention to it. Uh, you don't see those reflections. So there's a fuel station right in front of us. But I don't think it has a rest area. This is a standard fuel station. So we can get fuel there. So now if I find a, just a rest area, I know I can get fuel nearby. 
I mean, like I said, I should be able to go another 200 miles. So, I mean, uh, yeah. I could just, uh, if we just find a rest area, we'll rest there and take care of it next morning. We'll just have to find somewhere to get fuel. I mean, there's one right here. Cindy will figure it out in just a moment. Oh, okay, I can see our drop-off point on the GPS. And I'm not seeing anything right around here for a rest area. Well, let's get this delivered. And we'll figure it all out. I almost turned left and did not notice the uh, stoplight. Leaning, I'm actually leaning in, looking at the GPS to see if there's anything nearby. Give me that green light. Alright, we'll just sit here and dance to the rhythm of the direction. Okay, never mind. As soon as, as soon as the game heard me say I'm going to dance to the rhythm of the direction light, it's like, yeah, you know what, here's a green light. Just, just go. Been a while since I delivered to one of these places, so I don't know. Oh, I can see it straight ahead. Long day, huh, fella? how we do today although it's a pretty straightforward parking job I just don't want to run into the back of the garage parking brake engine decouple all right so we went an hour over so it's not too bad and we do get a lot of XP uh, let's go ahead and look at the wait how do we do this again navigation so not used to this new UI system. Uh, world map. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wait. Where am I? Where, where over here? Uh, it's quite a ways off, but... I mean, I need to get to a rest area. So no sense of getting fuel here when I can just get it over here. All right. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's head out. Of, let's head out of town, kind of. Take a little bit of time to get there, but not much we can do about it. As long as I get right on reds, and I don't have to sit and wait, that'd be great. So, we'll just call it 160000 in our bank account to end the day. Well, I'm probably going to take about $1,000 worth of fuel. Only 30 through here. And if I... This is to be the point where it's been a long day. You're going to try to reach there. And I'm glad I slowed down because that right there... Would it give me a ticket for sure? But in a weird way, <laughs> it does feel good to be back in California because so much has changed here since I've driven through. 
So it's going to be like driving in a new state for me. And I want to mention way back before Christmas, I think it was, of if you're watching this later in the series or later when it's not live, I'm talking about Christmas of 2023. I was talking about going to California. And then Texas came out, and then we just never got over here. Uh, some people were saying, I avoid California because they don't like driving through it. And that's the way I kind of remembered it. That's why I think I kind of like, ah, California, not interested. We'll go elsewhere. But it's time to come on back. But there is a slight chance, looking at things, that uh, next day could be our last drive in Moonlight Shadow. If we have a really good night and a really good day next day, or if we were to have a really, really good night, we could be driving a Western Star first thing in the morning. Or what I need to do is... We need to drive to a city with a Western Star dealership. Yeah, I know I'm getting tired. We're almost there. Like always, when you get, need the last turn and you're kind of in a hurry, the lights don't work in your favor, the traffic doesn't work in your favor. All right, so the fuel station's on one side. And I'm probably going to go in the wrong way, but this is the way we're going in. Five twenty-two for diesel. We are running a realistic diesel price mod. So that mod will give the average price for that state for that month, basically, is what it's doing. So currently in California... In June of 2024, diesel is averaging 5.22 a gallon, and look at that price for up to $1,400 worth of diesel fuel. Oh yeah, we're also running realistic sound mod, so you can hear the seatbelt going on. I mean, I could take off at any time. That's the sound effects. And now we're just going across the street. And parking in rear. <laughs> and it doesn't matter where I park, I'll probably have neighbors in the morning. That should be good enough. All right, so a couple things I want to check on here before uh, we end our day. Uh, driver manager, where is Paul? Yeah, you can see he's got the tanker. Uh, he is sleeping. Uh, where is he going with it? Is he going to Orlando, Florida? That's going to be one heck of a payment by the time he gets there. So Denver to Orlando. So now if I go to... Uh, whew. like I said, it's been a while since I've done the world map. Wait, how do I, how do I do this? I kind of forgot now. Uh, driver is with driver manager map view. That's what we want. There we go. So Denver to Orlando. And there he is. He's in Atlanta. So he's on the road with our tanker. It's working. You can see we got a couple drivers down in Florida. Actually, we got a few drivers up in the Northeast. Anyone uh, out near us? Uh, Alicia L., which is, she, she's the one that uh, leveled up today. So she's out by us here. Pretty cool. Um, truck dealers, yes. We want to see Western Star. All right, so there is one right here in California, right in Stockton. I mean, there's a lot of dealerships I haven't 
uh, found here in California, but there is one here in Stockton. So if I wake up in the morning and we got a decent amount of money, I will double check in between episodes. Uh, I will quote unquote buy online and kind of throw a truck together, see how much one, the truck I would like to drive, how much it's going to cost. And then if I wake up in the morning and we start next episode, we got the money. We're going to drive to Stockton and buy ourselves a Western Star. Uh, this truck will go to the Dallas garage and we'll get ourselves another driver. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're at that point in the video. If you like what you saw, maybe think about giving the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you think about doing so, please do subscribe as well. But yeah, this is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here. An American Truck Simulator with realistic economy. But until then, have a good one.